Tevin Martinson was big time backup for Ray Rosas, but is now set for singles action. And introducing his opponent from Gun Barrel City, Texas, weighing in at 230 pounds, the Western Roughneck, Jesse James. Here we see the opposition for Kevin Martinson. And coming off of a huge victory is the Western Roughneck over former United Television champion Dan Joseph, playing a role in the continued seemingly unraveling Dan Joseph. Yeah, the Western Roughneck, he is one bad hombre. But then again, so is Kevin Martinson. So this should be a great test for both competitors. But Blake, I don't see any way how Kevin Martinson can be 100% after that recent war as part of the 500th episode spectacular, that wild brawl in which anything was legal uh, was SoCal distancing. I mean, the risk that Martinson took in that match. Yeah. What an absolutely quick turnaround for the amount of mileage that was put on his body during that matchup. And I'm going to assume that Jesse James is going to try and take advantage of the mileage that he had on him. Well, and speaking of mileage, I mean, you can still see the tattoos, in essence, of uh, on the chest. There you see it of, of Jesse James, courtesy of Dan Joseph. What a physical war they had as well. So maybe both competitors here are not coming in a full 100%. Yeah, both combatants still showing ill effects of their of their previous matchups, and maybe a little bit of uh, target on Jesse James there with those those welts, those battle scars. So really, in the first exchange, we see Jesse James throw Kevin Martin and out of the ring and now they're over by the ramp. We know that Howdy Price and Levi Shapiro love jumping in and impacting matches. Let's see if they're going to come walking down the ramp any second now. Let me make a point. As long as it's not the primetime live ramp because that has that, uh, that ramp and Martinson have not exactly seen eye to eye over the weeks. But, you know, Martinson, I, I totally agree with you. You know, if, if uh, Howdy Price has struck a deal with, uh, with Jesse James, but looking back, speaking of primetime live, I mean, recently, Kevin Martinson was involved in the United Wrestling Network World Title Tournament, came in as an alternate and gave Mike Bennett an incredible run for his money. I mean, that was a huge matchup for Martinson. Competition does not get much bigger than Mike Bennett, and he went in and had a bang em out match with Mike Bennett, showing that he is championship caliber around the world. Let's see how Jesse James is able to get in there and work with him. There you see, though, the residual effects, James. And a simple Irish whip to the corner, and Martinson absolutely crumbled. He, he, he is hurt. Yeah, I mean, I think I don't think he's yeah. overstate. Oh, my goodness. He is just launched chest first into that turnbuckle. Jesse James then avalanche him. The amount of damage that was done to Kevin Martinson. Half Nelson suplex. Yeah, nicely done. And in the center of the ring. And imagine if Jesse James defeats the likes of, you know, of Dan Joseph and Kevin Martinson, two of the greats from the United Wrestling Network. Consecutively, boy, oh boy, is this a Roughnecks stock gonna rise. Absolutely, that's something that could really catapult him up through the ranks, and he's been competing against two former television champions. Maybe he'll be competing for that television title soon for himself. Kevin Martinson not gonna go quietly, though. He says, you're a daisy if you do, Jesse James. You're gonna have to get by me with all of you got. I know that Kevin yeah. Martinson endured a lot in that just melee, but he's still bringing the fight. Yeah. Oh. That's one thing we know Kevin Martinson has a lot of. In that last matchup, that was a bar fight. So we know he's down to down get here. in there and yeah. bounce off the wow. top. Giant drop kick. Wow. What a missile drop kick. Tons of height and extension into the cover. And it's not too often, gentlemen, that a single shot will drop the big man, Jesse James. But I'll tell you, the, the, the space man came from the outer rim there. Incredible. Jesse James checking his mouth there, it looked like. Kevin Martinson by oh, not close to tooth or two. Can I check my tooth? Hey, he's asking the official to check his tooth. Martinson, though, taking advantage. Smart move by Kevin Martinson, giving no reprieve to Jesse James. Oh, well, Jesse James lo loses a tooth or two. They just give him a little more character. Yeah. <laughs> give him some laudanum, rub some dirt on it. There you go. Maybe a shot of whiskey. Oh, look at this innovative offense by Martinson from the uh, inside to the outside. And you're never safe 
Martinson can use every inch of that ramp as a launch pad. Here we go. Crossbody plancha. Such a wide variety of high-risk maneuvers that Martinson continually lands with such high success. It's very impressive. But sometimes he takes risks that cost him. We'll see here inside now. Going to pick up full head of steam and runs right into that wicked shot. Southern Sunday punch by the Western Roughneck. This match continues after this. Join us right now for live chat on youtube.com slash championship wrestling. Memphis Wrestling is back! Featuring Alan Steele, Derek King, The Posse, Superstar Bill Dundee, King Cobra, and more. Championship Wrestling from Memphis. Burger or grilled cheese? <laughs> grilled cheese. Very good. I want the crispy tenders and the tops. This patty, mm, really fresh. I'm gonna try to chow this thing down before I get to the wrapper. Sonic Wacky Pack. Choosing Pro Shingle is like picking the perfect tag team partner, right Dave? You got that right. It's simple and easy. They'll even file your insurance claim for you. Give them a call. Tell them Dave and Dustin sent you. 901-258-6503. This portion of Championship Wrestling is brought to you by Platinum Jewelers. Valentine's Day is right around the corner. Guys, you know what to do. Head over to Platinum Jewelers, perfect for Valentine's Day. What's up, Memphis? This is Jaron Jackson Jr. from the Grizzlies, encouraging you all to shop where I shop. Platinum Jewelers here in Memphis. 545 Perk is extended in East Memphis. The other is 9387 Poplar next to Fresh Market in Germantown. Go to my spot, Platinum Jewelers. Last week on Championship Wrestling, we had two big championship matches. Anthony Idol had this thing won. Howdy Price up on the apron. The object was already in there, and look at that single shot. Tag team action had Dan Joseph a little unhinged. This is a new Dan Joseph. Beside himself, Whoa. kicking the oh, stick. Oh, no. You hate Wait. to see him come unraveled. Now he's getting physical with ring announcer Adnan Qureshi. Oh! oh don't, don't swing in the chair. Everything in sight. Dan Joseph has come completely he's, unhinged. He's completely bent that chair. He's, he is totally unraveled here. He's, he's think, he almost took a swing on that monitor. That'll cost you some money. And it was one sad, sad day. What a close call. Came so I, close to winning championship yeah, gold there. I mean, I love the friendship farm. Oh, no, no, no. What, what the hell? Oh, my God. What the hell, sweet Robin? No, the Billy to Billy suplex. What are you doing? Yeah. Oh, and then now Darwin Finch, the scientist. The Robin scientist. Got by the throat. Oh, my God. Look at look at the intensity on the eyes of sweet Robin here, guys. I, I don't know if he bought what Flex was selling or if Robin Shaw just snapped here, taking it to both. <laughs> I, I can't believe that he would buy into that. Oh my, he looks incensed. All that and so much more on the fastest hour in pro wrestling. Watch episode 93 in full at youtube.com slash championship wrestling. Welcome back everybody. Jesse James continues to just absolutely wear down Kevin Martinson. And this is, this is what you want to do against Martinson, keep him grounded. Absolutely. We've seen Martinson several times with high-flying attacks, either off the top rope or jumping out of the ring. So it's very smart for Jesse James to slow things down by locking up a chin lock. And yeah, we saw it earlier, James, that big drop kick off the top. I mean, the effect it had. And certainly Martinson in no position for something like that right now. No, he is not. Jesse James has done a good job of getting Martinson now onto his back and a big leg drop into a cover. One, two. Martinson's doing a good job of trying to fight himself back up. He keeps trying to get up and fight, but Jesse James smashes him back down. Goes for a pin that time. Both these guys, their bodies just a roadmap of pain after what they both endured recently. Jesse James against Dan Joseph. Martinson in that hardcore war. And now using his shoulder here like a battering ram. Jesse James, one rough and tough customer. 
Martin. Yeah, you know, it's hard to tell. I mean, you look in the eyes of Kevin Martin. It's hard to tell if it's the damage that's being inflicted by Jesse James or just him. Martin's just kind of an out there guy in terms of what's going through his head there. His eyes just rolling around like saucers. And again, the damage from that matchup was SoCal distancing. I mean, the numbers were not in their favor of he and Ray Roses. We heard from Ray Roses, you know, dealing with some of the sins of years past and trying to, you know, put 2020 in the rear view mirror and make 2021 a better year. It's worth noting, Martinson took a ton of damage in that matchup, but he never stopped fighting. He was always continuing his offense, and that's a big thing to note, guys. When they get beat down, what do they do? Do they curl up and quit? Do they look for a way out, or do they fight back? That was a quicker pace, and Jesse James, though, has really slowed this down to the pace that he wants, launching Kevin Martinson, ripping at that lower back now. Significantly different strategy employed by both com both the competitors. Jesse James doing much lower risk maneuvers and chopping down on Martinson. Martinson's going for the higher risk, bigger payoff moves though. And it doesn't take much. Here's the difference. I talked about high risk for Martinson. And that, that is high mileage on your body as well. Rudimentary moves like an Irish whip are effective for Jesse James. They do the job. They get... They get Martinson in a prone position. They put him on his back. Jesse James isn't going to make big mistakes. He's not going to leave himself vulnerable. Martinson smart, though, scoring with a chop right on that wealth of Jesse James. Maybe going to open up a couple more. Might as well have a bullseye on it, fellas. Oh, a big oh. shot. Man, oh, man. Just lighting him up like a Christmas tree is BHK. Reversal again. Look at that. Look at the velocity on that Irish whip. I mean, you said it, TK. They are incredibly effective for Jesse James. And extremely hard to counter or reverse. And that's what the importance of these low-risk maneuvers are. He's slowly getting ahead. More and more pin attempt. Two. I think he worked on that Irish whip, just throwing people across the bar top, Wild West style. Yeah, I mean, like you mentioned that Martinson was just in a bar fight. Jesse James probably no stranger to one of those himself. I think the safe money's on that, that's for sure. Martinson, though, wrist control, step up in Zaguri. Nicely done, and the eyes looking very strange there after maybe looking like he had a shot or too many of the fire water. You can really see Martin's experience there where he was able to find that quick attack. Whoa. Yeah. Maybe He's going for trying that to take buster. the big man up. Yeah, the back smart and maybe all the way back to primetime live you know where he where he hit that ramp several times missed dive you know uh, on that ramp at one point when he faced ray roses then the two became partners obviously here and and uh, taking advantage oh look at the springboard moonsault wow hi noon moonsault there by jesse james and nobody home Nobody. Not too often you see a big man move like that. That was extremely impressive. These Santino guys can do some fantastic stuff inside the ring. Yeah, nobody home on it, but again, yeah, it was an impressive maneuver. Maybe, uh, I don't know why, but pulling that out might come back to bite him, though. Oh, man, he's going super saiyan now is, is uh, Kevin Martinson. Watch out here. Digging way down deep. Again, as you mentioned, Blake, you just can't stop this guy. He keeps moving forward. We might not have seen Kevin Martinson's final form, but he is doing his best to show it to us right now. What's he gonna go for? You mentioned earlier, TK, he's got a love-hate relationship with the outside. Looks like he's gonna be going back to it right now. Oh, too smart though, landed on his feet. Oh, called the audible, but you don't wanna be here either. Slides through, spear, beautifully done there on Jesse James by BHK. You, 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 he'll hit you from all angles. Innovation is the word that always comes into my mind when I'm watching Kevin Martinson work. He is just such an incredible innovator in there at calling that audible. Little elevation sensation splash from Kevin Martinson now. Can he make the cover crawling over? Boy, right, dropping all the way down from sorry and two into the cover. Only a count of two. How in the world was that not enough? But now it opened the door for the sharpshooter. So trying to turn him. Attacking all points of the body here on Jesse James. Got Jesse the beard. James. Yes, he does. That was a very high-level transition there by Kevin Martinson. He went immediately from the pin kick out and started turning it over for the sharpshooter and came very close to securing it. I thought you were going to say grabbing the beard was a high-level uh, transition there by, by uh, Jesse James, but it did the job. It got him out of oh. harm's way. A gut wrench, and now all the body weight down with the senton into the cover. Down to two, three on the way. No, not yet. And another war here for both these guys. 
Yeah, Martinson just That's able it. to get the shoulder up. I honest to God thought that was going to be all she wrote for Kevin Martinson. But he is still in this matchup, but in a bad, bad way right now. Kevin Martinson has been able to survive all of Jesse James' attacks thus far. But I wonder if he busts out that lariat. Well, What's going to happen? It looks like he's calling for it. Well, he may not be the, the great Bambino, but he is calling his shot. Certainly looks like it. He was looking for that lariat, but now out of position. So whether that was luck, fatigue, instinct, wherewithal, something. Martinson got out of there, ducks it, has just enough for the German suplex the other way. Seesaw battle here at Championship Wrestling. Jesse James got a little over eager. He didn't, he wasn't able to get the lariat because Kevin Martinson went down in the corner and he went and tried to force it and got countered. Oh my God, he might kick that beard right off Martinson's face. Wow, he's, he's a space case now, that's for sure. He's Talk done. about Martinson after he eating a shot like that. Yeah. What's Jesse, oh man, again, digs down deep. Reversal, hat on the magnetic boots. Big hook the leg, Martinson wins. Here is your winner, Kevin Martinson. Wow, what another war, guys. Incredible. Martinson digs down deep, defeats the odds and his opponent. Let's look back at the action brought to you by UnitedWrestlingShop.com. Get your branded United Wrestling Network merchandise. How about the big man going for a moonsault there out of nowhere, guys? And then in the end, big guy looked for some variation of a suplex reversed by Martinson gets the win. Yeah, that brain buster. Martinson likes to pull it out and it delivered the victory over Jesse James. That Great split, hard fought win. That split second of showmanship by Jesse James might have cost him the opportunity to throw his attack and instead he got brain busted and he's going home with an L. Still more coming your way right here on Championship Wrestling. Welcome back to the studio. BHK Kevin Martinson showed up real big for Ray Rosas in part two of our Blockbuster Spectacular and today was no different. Big win for BHK.